Welcome back, dear viewers. You're still watching Ganal Cruz on Nal TV from a very special uh, Islamic shrine, which is Al Azhar University and Al Azhar, of course, mosque. And we have the pleasure to bring you today's episode of Nal Cruz from this very special place. Dear viewers, uh, today, of course, uh, Islam makes certain times and places specially uh, scarred, while a believer can certainty, uh, certainly rather engage in worship, such as remembering or glorifying God at any time, stand, standing, sitting or lying on their sides. Some periods of time have special and unique blessings associated with them. Similarly, while the entirety of the earth has been made a place of worship and uh, there are some locations such as the three mosques that are uniquely blessed. Uh, this creates within the psychology of the believer a yearning to seek out these unique opportunities in order to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, that yearnings bring about several positive spiritual emotions, uh, of course, wonder, anticipation, eagerness, excitement, hope, and longing. Dear viewers, in this concept, we have with us Mr. Usama Khalid, researcher in the observatory um, at Al Azhar University, of course. A very good day, sir, and it's, it's a pleasure to have you with us in today's episode of Nile Cruise. Uh, sir, happy Ramadan first, and uh, what is the wisdom behind? Um, observing uh, Ramadan, of course, and Laylatul Qadr, and exerting a great effort during it. Uh, in, the, okay. uh, in the name of Allah, most gracious and most merciful, uh, and peace and the blessings be upon His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, first of all, so sorry to interrupt you again, yes, but okay. at the beginning, why do we call it Laylatul Qadr? Okay, uh, uh, at first I want to uh, congratulate you and the whole Ummah with Ramadan and uh, want to say to you Happy Ramadan. Thank you, sir. Uh, actually, uh, we call it uh, Laylatul Qadr for two reasons. The first one is mentioned in Surah Al Qadr, in which Allah says, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. We have revealed it in the night of decree which means it here refers to the Quran Inna fi qadr, wama ma qadr. what makes people know what is the night of decree Laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr. the night of decree is better than thousand of months تنزل الملائكة والروح بإذن ربهم من كل أمر. Angels and the spirit Jabril descend to the earth with a permission. are recorded and uh, and written. So we can hear deduce from these verses also that. Uh, Laylatul Qadr here is called the night of decree and the night of decree here because in this night everything related to human beings is recorded or uh, everything is recorded everything is written uh, so in terms of living substance uh, ages and uh, all acts and deeds so these are the two common uh, things behind calling it Laylatul Qadr um, sir, what are the virtues of uh, Laylatul Qadr or the night of the Queen? Actually, uh, there are uh, many virtues, uh, among which uh, the first one is the revelation of the Quran. The Quran was revealed in Laylatul Qadr and in Ramadan in general. Allah says in Surah Al Baqarah, Shahr Ramadan Alladhi Unzila Fihi Al Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month in which is the month in which the Quran was revealed and it is a guidance for people until the end of this verse. So it is general here that the Quran was revealed in Ramadan. But some scholars said that it is specified and it is restricted with another verse which is mentioned in the first 
verse of Surah Al-Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi laylati al-Qadr. We have revealed it. It here refers to the Quran. So it, this verse specifies the first one mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to meet Jabril, Jabril in uh, Ramadan. Uh, once in Ramadan, only one time in Ramadan, but before the death and the last Ramadan before the death of, of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he met Jabril two times. They were studying Quran, tafsir, they were uh, thinking about the verses and so on and so on, so forth. Okay. Um, sir, how um, should we observe Laylatul Qadr? Is it by praying, reading Quran, um, and the Prophet Sirah, listening to lectures and lessons, or celebrating it in the mosque? Uh, actually, uh, we have to observe it like the normal days that we are doing in Ramadan. We actually pray in Ramadan. Uh, we uh, pay uh, sadaqah and uh, we uh, visit the, our relatives and so on. So we have to do that, that same things. But we have to be more active. We have to special. This night is special in terms of the whole month. So you must find yourself different or feel yourself different at this, at this night. You have to exert more efforts in uh, in ibadah or in uh, doing acts of worship so you have to feel different you have to uh, read the quran more than one time at the 10 days last 10 days because uh, it is not known it is known at it is uh, not known at one night but uh, in the uh, it it may be one of the last 10 days of ramadan uh, sir um what is the wisdom behind observing it, of course, Laylatul Qadr or the Night of the Cree, and exerting great effort during it? Uh, okay. Uh, actually, if we look to the ages of the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we will find that it ranged between 60 and 70, according to the hadith in which Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, A'maru ummati bayna as wa sibain the ages of my ummah between 60 and 70, and 70. So you will find that it is short in, in comparison to the ages of the past nations that they may reach or near to about 1,000 years. Some of them live to 1,000 years, uh, like Noah and so on. So Allah granted us and bestowed us with this night to feel uh, and uh, to um, uh, because it equals uh, about uh, 10 months uh, and this color said that it is it equals about uh, th 83 years of worship so uh, it it may um, equal it may equal this uh, this long life that the previous nation left so you may feel that uh, you have a long life but in short life Okay. Um, sir, um, uh, when is the night of the Cree? Uh, the night of the Cree is uh, unknown. Uh, actually, uh, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam was told with it. Then he came out to tell his companions about the exact night of uh, Laylatul Qadr. But actually, uh, he saw uh, two people or two uh, two persons were fighting and were abusing each other. So he forgot it. And the Prophet Muhammad say it's better for you. Uh, so you have to look for it at the last 10 days of Ramadan or the odd 10 days of uh, the last odd 10 days of Ramadan. Odd, uh, odd 10 days here uh, which are uh, the 21, uh, 23 or 25 or 27 or 29 uh, at these nights. But I think that it's better to uh, take our precautions and be on the safe side and uh, exert more efforts at the last 10 days as a whole to observe the uh, night of uh, Laylatul Qadr.
And finally, sir, what are the signs uh, that indicate that this is Laylatul Qadr or the night of the king? Uh, actually, uh, you will feel uh, peaceful and uh, tranquil at this time, at this night. This night, we can call it the night of peace because Allah said, Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. Peace, it is until the break of the dawn. And you will find the uh, sun uh, the or the rays of the sun uh, are not hot you will feel that it is cold and peace and full of uh, angels and the spirit that's all okay. okay a prayer a special prayer that we should say on uh, this very very special night allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu'anna Okay, that's, that is the, uh, that is that is the, the supplication that we, that we must perform. We must be saying in Laylatul Qadr or on the night of the creaser. Yes. Uh, Mr. Usama Khalid, the researcher in Al-Azhar Observatory. We thank you so much, sir, for uh, joining us in today's episode of Nile Cruise. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. Sir. Thank you so much. And happy thank Ramadan. You. Happy Ramadan.